Hi guys, I'm Mystix, Audio Video Production, and today I just want to try out with you the V11 Vintage Series Microphone from Jay-Z Microphones. <laughs> Today, as you can see here in a different position than usual, I'm using uh, this slider to move the microphone in real time, uh, to test the microphone in different position and to use another uh, speaker that here near the speaker. Let me introduce the routing I'm using. This is my Gibson Les Paul Supreme, as you can see from the headstock. I'm going directly to my Drifful Purple Nightmare amplifier to my custom-made cabinet. As you can see, it's written Mad Sticks Production. This cabinet is made by me with four different speakers. The speaker I use in this test are these two on the top. This speaker is the Warehouse Retro 30 and that one is the Warehouse uh, Green Beret. The Retro 30 is kind of like a Vintage 30 from Celestion but as more bottom is basically the range is, is fuller and the same for the green beret as really uh, same response of the greenback from uh, Celestion but it is richer it, there are more bottom response I like much more this than the Celestion all mic up with the uh, microphone the Jay-Z microphone V11 vintage I already try out this microphone you can see the video here of, of the microphone on the acoustic guitar sounds amazing so today I try out in metal and rock situation by the way if you like this type of content please consider to subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and active always the bell notification to get all my updates in real time follow me on instagram where i'll be very fast to post uh, you will see also unboxing about goodies i received all around the world from companies and if you want to support more my channel i have a buy me a coffee page where you can buy me basically a virtual coffee and entering on my page you can download impulse responses, high quality impulse response, guitar presets and stuff like that very useful for music production. The microphone is in center position, I'm using the slider so I can turn on the slider and with my phone I can adjust the position remotely with the application, search the device and now it's connected, I can move it. Oh it's cool! It's amazing, it's so useful. This is also useful to create your own impulse responses, all with same distance. Okay, so turn back, turn back. Okay, so listen, if it's in the center, I have to put my headphones and listen if it's bright enough. I think we are in the center. Yeah? Yeah, basically yes. So right now you are listening to the Retro 30 warehouse speaker with the microphone on the center. Listen how the sound will change moving the microphone. So let's open the app. Sounds crazy. <laughs> if 
even far from the center, darken and darken. Let's now listen the other speaker, the Green Barrett from Warehouse. Almost in the center. Listen that the sound is totally different from the retro uh, third. Let's change the channel. This is almost a plexi sound. But if I raise the preamp volume, we can get a really cool crunchy tone from this Driftwood Purple Nightmare. to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
sounds great. You have the link in the description of this microphone, the V11 Vintage Series from JZ Microphone. I try out also on Walker for sure, so please follow my video. I leave also the link of this cool slider. This is basically the cheapest motorized slider you can find on internet. Okay, you have the link in the description. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think about it. I think it sounds really, really cool, really, it's amazing. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.